Hi, it's Desley here. Today we're just going to talk about uh, some foods under the letter W. And the first one today is white chai seeds. Now white chai seeds are very high in omega-3 fatty acids. They also contain lots of fibre, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. Uh, there's no sugar in white chai seed, so that's good for those um, that have to be mindful of their sugar levels and it's also gluten free. Uh, when it absorbs it tends to swell making you feel fuller for longer. Uh, you can sprinkle it on porridge, um, salads or smoothies and due to its hydrophilic properties it can help ward off dehydration. Okay and the next one is watercress. Now watercress is a member of the mustard family. Uh, it contains calcium, sulfur, uh, C, beta carotene, potassium and folate. In fact its vitamin C content is even richer than uh, citrus or tomatoes. Um, if you want to uh, uh, clean off the bacteria on your vegetables you can soak it in water with a few drops of oregano oil. Uh, it helps with digestive issues due to its enzyme activity. Uh, it's great for leg cramps due to its magnesium content um, and the sulfur content helps your skin. Okay and the last one is watermelon. Uh, now watermelon is actually a vegetable and it belongs to the gourd family. Uh, it's also related to pumpkins, squash and cucumbers. All of these grow on vines um, low on the ground. Uh, it's a source of lycopene which is a really good antioxidant and it's also full of uh, your vitamin C, potassium and beta carotene. Uh, due to its water absorption it's really great if uh, you're dehydrated uh, but it also has diuretic properties um, and is a very good alkalizer for those uh, that have arthritis and gout. Um, if you eat the seeds it also helps to remove parasites and worms. Okay that's all for today. Next time we'll talk about ailments under the letter W. In the meantime, uh, you can go to my Facebook page or my YouTube page. Okay, thanks very much. Have a great day. Bye.